Right everyone, so even since I did the EU A3 and A1 open category video there's been a lot of people asking about what about my A2 CFC. I want an A2 CFC and be able to fly in mainland EU. So now it's it gets interesting, okay? So there's no current deal between RCA and Yasa that they can cross over, okay? Now a lot of people slated and weren't happy that we left Yasa and we couldn't use our A2CFC overseas. However, it now looks like it might be a blessing in disguise for the GVC dash specific holders. For them, be very grateful we're not part of Yasa. That will come in another video. I will do a bit on the differences between the two. But holy crap, be grateful we did not get that if you're a PFCO holder or operational authorization GVC holder. Just be grateful we did not get that. Okay, so back to the A2. So you want an A2. You want to fly in Europe and you'll be able to fly across the whole EU. Now, first of all, just so you know, if you're an operator or you've got a flyer ID, they work across the whole of the EU. So every country can check each other's databases, okay? They are interlinked, okay, basically. Now, the other thing is, of course, you want to do your A2 CFC in English. At least I assume you want to do it in English, you know? So, an operator from the UK will need to set up and do the Irish Aviation Authority. So basically, we're going to do the non-EU persons, okay, we can get our UAS registration number, or basically our Demores Operator ID equivalent, through them now. That's right. So the Irish Aviation Authority, the IAA, can basically get us our oper uh, Operator ID, okay. And this number will be valid across the whole of the EU. Okay, so this will become your important bit. Now, I will put the link to what, where you need to go to do this below in the description. Okay, so your first thing is, right, you're going to set up an account with the IAA. Okay, this process is a little convoluted, but essentially involves your name and email. Activate your account through an email sent to you. Okay. You'll input some details, okay, um, and then it could be your passport, for example, so you'll have to put a bit in, and they do do a check, so it can take a little bit of time, 48 hours for these checks to go ahead, okay. However, if the address on the ID is different from the details you provide, th that will, can hold up the process, okay. So when you're doing it, I will, again, put this in the description, you must keep everything correct, okay. And then, then you're going to register as an operator, Okay, and then, now you can complete the A1 and A3 remote pilot course, okay, within this account. Now, there's a short video and then multiple, multiple questions. Now, if you've done the Luxembourg version, okay, I will put in the description what you've basically got to do. So, you can actually skip that. You don't have to do the open category if you've done your Luxembourg. You don't have to. They can actually get linked into this account. The details on how to do that will be in the description below. So you've registered. You can either do your A1 and A3. Okay, now you need a company you can go to and you know are going to do it right for you. Okay, now you're going to do it with um, Safe Drone. Okay, now these guys, they are in Ireland you will do the first part of the course online. Okay, so they do like an online section where you will learn about the A2, okay? You'll do that and that's e-learning, okay? The second half of that will then be with them on a Zoom call, okay? So it's split in two parts here. One part is all e-learning, one part will be a Zoom call, okay? And then you'll do the, it's very similar basically to our UK A2, so it's theory, self-practical, online exam, 
Okay, that's what you're going to end up doing. You will then apply for an open A2 certificate through the IAA system, okay? And when this application is made, Safe Drone Academy recommends the award to the MyR system, which is the web portal you're going to go to, and they provide a step-by-step -step lesson for that within the course. So when you do your Safe Drone Academy and you do the actual course with them, part of it is how to actually apply for your A2, okay? Then you'll download the PDF A2 Certificate of Competency, okay? And this will be valid in the EU for five years, okay? You must keep on person hard or digital copy when flying, okay? As you move between each EU country, there'll be no need to approach aviation authorities to let them know you are flying, okay? This covers you through the whole of the EU, plus, plus Norway, Greenland, and Switzerland, because they have a reciprocal deal with the um, YASA, okay? Those three countries are also thrown in for free, okay? So not only do you get the whole of the EU, you get the three other countries as well. Now, again, so I will put all of this, how to do, where to go, all the links, the link to the company to go and do the A2 with, it will all be in the um, in the description below, okay? But this is it, guys. This is your A2, okay? Doesn't matter if you've already got your Luxembourg one. Uh, at the bottom of the description, you'll see the instructions on what to do if you've got that. You don't have to do it. The e, the Irish Aviation Authority do charge 29 is it 29 euros or 39 euros to do the A1 and A3? You don't have to do it with them if you've done the Luxembourg. Okay, so you can do the free Luxembourg one if you want, then go across. But actually, if you've not done anything, I recommend you just do it all through the Irish Aviation Authority. Okay, that's the way I recommend you do it. Just do it all there. The course is 149 euros. Okay, so it's not extortionate. You know, you look at 140 pounds thereabouts. Uh, Mark, who runs the Safe Drone Academy, and the I, he's a great guy. Okay, so when you apply for your A2 CFC as well, there is a cost. It's forty-five euros, and you'll pay that to the Irish Aviation Authority. Okay, and your registration is thirty euros as well to the Irish Aviation Authority. So in all, you are going to spend a bit of money here. Okay, you are looking, but the time you're done. It'll be, it'll be just over 200 euros, okay? It's, it's a little bit long-winded at times, but, you know, it is now possible to get your A2 C of C and be able to fly in all EU countries and you do not have to notify when you get to each one. How is that, everyone? Right, I don't normally say this, okay? But if you like the video, subscribe. Big thank you to Michael, Michael Ken, who runs his own uh, drone company. I'm very grateful to Michael. He put me onto this. Um, so Michael, um, I owe you a beer. Um, and also to Mark, who owns and runs the drone safe course. Um, he's a great guy as well. Okay, so he's doing the safe drone course. Is I get it the wrong way around. I do apologise, Mark. It's safe safe drone courses that were doing it um but yeah um guys the a2 cfc for the eu you know go check out the web page all the links everything is in the video description okay have a great weekend everyone cheers